<laughs> Hi everyone, Vince here. Welcome to my receipt jar review. So receipt jar is promising that you can turn your receipts into straight up cash. And on today's video, I'm going to go through and give you my opinion on if I think it's actually worth your time or not. I hope you guys enjoy. Please remember to hit like to help this video get shown around YouTube. Let's kick this off. So this is what Receipt Jar looks like when you first launch it up. At the top of the screen, you have your points. These points are the actual currency that you'll be generating for submitting receipts to Receipt Jar. You'll also see Earnings, Expenses, and the Redeem tab. Now underneath that area, you're going to find out the actual minimum cash out. Now of course, depending on your country, this may look a little bit different, but here in Australia, it seems the minimum cash out is $5 worth of currency for 1,000 of the points. Points. Simply tapping on the little $5 cash out button will bring up the different options here of how much you can actually withdraw. It seems receipt jar goes all the way up to $100. So for a $10 cash out, it will cost 1,900 points. $50 cash out, 9,500 points. $100 cash out, 19,000 points. So essentially $5 worth of currency is roughly going to be a base minimum of 1,000 points. So that's how you can try and figure out the currency conversion of the in-game currency to the real life currency. Mind you, the more that you cash out, the more of a discount you get it seems on the points. So that's pretty cool. If you invite your friends to Receipt Jar, you generate 200 points for free. This is my code, by the way. If anyone out there would like to use it, you can find it in the description below as well. To upload your receipt, all you need to do is tap on the little camera button at the bottom of the screen. And you'll notice here that it brings up a huge list of rules. So at the top of the screen, it states, please do not upload these receipts. Intentionally uploading receipts that we don't accept could result in account suspension. And underneath that, it states you should not upload receipts that are not yours, receipts older than seven days, service receipts, FPOS receipts, A4 receipts, and receipts splitting. So quite an extensive list of rules there. Pretty much they're saying if you shop at a supermarket store or like, you know, a store like Kmart or Walmart, whatever it may be, instantly upload your receipt instead of waiting seven days and do not use other people's receipts as well. It seems that Receipt Jar really wants to focus on I guess traditional shopping in the sense of like going out and purchasing a new TV or something like that. Not really getting massages. But you can see it's very straightforward. You'd simply put the receipt there where the camera is and then it'll take a photo of it. Really easy stuff. Here's a page that Receipt Jar states will let you get fast approvals for your receipt. So you notice here that we have a very clear photo of a receipt compared to the blurry one. Obviously you want to take close up clear photos of your receipt guys. You don't want to have to get it sent back to you and then you waste all that time while it's getting processed, okay? See, at the top of the screen, it even states here, avoid slow approval or reject the receipts, follow these tips. And there you go, again, you don't want to upload any of these things here, folded or wrinkly especially. And then again, it gives you more examples. So at least now you understand what not to upload. Pretty straightforward stuff all in all. Now at the bottom of the screen, it states, high level means bigger bonus. This is because every approved receipt earns one experience points and helps you get closer to your next level. The higher level you get, the bigger your win weekly golden jar bonus will be. Now you're probably thinking, what on earth is a golden jar? Tapping on the home tab in the bottom left corner of the screen takes you to the home area, which is pretty much like your central area where all the options are. You can see that we can explore receipt jar by scanning paper receipts, uploading online receipts, play shakes, look at our expenses, cash out rewards, and you can see all the other options available as well. This simply brings up some extra options to contact support, it seems. Now this golden jar reward works on a system of shakes jars. You can earn shake jars every week when you upload an approved receipt. Depending on which level you're on, the number of shakes you earn will be different. Pretty much the way it works is you click on the shake icon, click on play now, shake your phone up and down, and that's essentially it. If you manage to get one golden jar from the three shake jars, you earn 25 bonus points for free. Tapping on the shakes button at the bottom of the screen takes you to the shake area. So you will have to upload a receipt to unlock this area, everyone, which is pretty cool, I guess all in all. It seems they've added this as like another layer of earning. So can't really complain too much with that. But here you can see I have my three jars that are empty because I haven't uploaded receipts. And then you have all the various prizes that you could potentially win by using this area. Now if I tap on the rewards button, it takes me to an extra layer here of cash out options. So you can see at the top of the screen, we have an ASOS gift card for $20 all the way up to $100 and all these other various gift cards, including Amazon, which is awesome. We have uh, Apple gift card, Apple iTunes, 
and you pretty much just keep scrolling down here and eventually you'll find, I'm sure, a gift card that you'd be happy to cash out with for uploading your receipts. Again, this is very country orientated, so please keep this in mind. The gift cards that you see on my screen here may not be the same as what you're looking at in your own country, but I can definitely appreciate the variety that Receipt Jar is giving me to cash out. Like, look how long this list keeps on going for everyone. Google Play is even there. It just keeps on going at this point, and this is something that you don't really see on money-making applications, this extensive list of cash-out options, man. Like, look at this. I'm waiting to see PayPal. I haven't seen PayPal just yet, interesting enough. Still just scrolling down here, dude. Look at all these options, man. So I couldn't find PayPal on the list, and that makes me think, is PayPal not actually supported on Receipt Jar? All right, so what I found out is that you can redeem PayPal with Receipt Jar, but it states Receipt Jar USA. So what that means to me is, depending on your country, PayPal may or may not be available. It seems here in Australia, it's not available, which isn't the biggest deal because there are so many different options obviously available here. Now you're probably wondering how many points can you actually get per receipt? Looking at the help area of Receipt Jar will show us that answer. Below $10 receipts will generate you five points. Between $11 and $50 receipts will generate you 10 points. Between $51 and $100 will generate you 15 points. Over $100 receipts will generate you 20 points. And with the minimum cash out of being 1,000 points for five dollars receipt jar to me is definitely an application that you're not going to be earning fast on whatsoever and another reason for this if you tap on the receipt button at the bottom of the screen it will bring up all the receipts that you've submitted to receipt jar but then you'll notice something interesting when you upload your first receipt you'll get 200 points here is also where you can enter your referral code but at the top of the screen you'll notice that there's a weekly receipt limit of only hundred and twenty points so what this means is that you can earn up to 120 points the standard way from that list I just showed you. But then once you pass 120 points, you only get five points regardless of how much money you've spent on your receipts. So essentially you are getting capped out at a certain point each week. I just thought that's something I would definitely mention. You can also submit online receipts, by the way. The receipt must include the retailer's name, items purchased, date and time of purchase, and total amount paid, and must not be older than seven days. Interesting enough, if you have a look, PayPal transaction confirmation emails are not accepted, phone and internet and electricity bills are not accepted, hair salon services are not accepted, rent payment, ride share, flight receipts are also not accepted either. Here is a list of receipts that they do accept from the online purchases. So keep this in mind. You might want to pause the video there to have a look. All right, so where do I stand on receipt jar? The fact that they even include an expense tracker, I find actually pretty interesting and could be actually helpful for people that use it all the time. But when it comes to the making money portion of receipt jar, I definitely think they've done the right thing by including so many gift card and cash out options. I mean, it sucks that there's no PayPal option here in Australia yet, but I kind of feel like the earning is going to be limited. Even if you get to that 120 point cap at the end of each week, I still kind of think that that five point cap is going to really put some people off the application. I do suspect that they actually will pay you by the way. It's just, it might not be for everyone, but it could be a little application that you'd use on the side when you have some extra receipts you want to try and generate some bonus income from instead of just throwing them away. I hope this video helped you. Please hit like if it did, and I'll catch you all tomorrow for another review.